Well guys, it's time to get into the center diff on the Creighton 8S. Now, I've been reading on the Facebook groups about earplugs, specifically the malleable silicone earplugs like this. These say Mushroom Planet. I got these off of eBay. I will put a link in the description on these. Now, the other thing I hear about is they love red Loctite. And red Loctite takes heat. I've heard of guys putting your soldering tip on there, just kind of let it heat up for a little bit. I went and bought something to make sure I got enough heat. That is this. I should have plenty of heat. <laughs> um, I've been needing, you know, a little pen torch or something and kind of went overboard, but oh well, I got some heat. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the Creighton 8S. Take a look. To get the transmission out, you need a 3mm and 4mm hex wrench. Now, obviously, I've got the castle system, but the procedure is going to be the exact same as what Arma shows, and Arma has a really nice video on this. I'll put a link to that video in the description, so take a look at that, because I'm going to follow that video on how to get this out. This is the newer version, so it does have a different center brace and all that plus that brace down there so but getting this out is going to be the exact same i'm just simply going to get the job done and show you guys that center diff there's an o-ring that goes in there and it's currently sitting on the chassis i gotta tell you this is one beefy beefy transmission this thing's impressive now i'm going to take those bolts out of the front and get that right out of there here we are, guys. This thing is beefy. Holy cow. Very impressive. And those right there are where I need the heat. All four of my bolts actually broke loose without any heat, but then they needed heat to finish on up and it is hotter than it looks that torch I got oh I got some batteries charged I may have to go drive something anyway um <laughs> yeah um anyway it's loose I'm gonna go ahead and peel this thing out see what's inside there we go and I did not mess up the seal seal is still good as best I can tell ew that is really dirty to be only run what, five or six times. Oh well, time to get them out, clean them up. Here they are right here. And I don't know how these things work for earplugs. I don't know if I'd be able to dig them out of my ears. They cut pretty well. And I'm going to try to put them in in little pieces to try to fill all the gaps and make this as effective as possible. I've got three of them shoved in here. If this thing has any differential action at all, I'll be impressed. Now, the one thing about it, and I doubt it'll ever spin fast enough, is, you know, there's no real lubrication left in it. But if it doesn't actually turn inside, then heat shouldn't be a problem. We're going to find out. There it is, ready to go back in. And I was able to actually turn this with a uh, hex wrench right in the slot. So there is still some differential action even with those plugs in there. But it's a whole lot tighter than it was. And now it's time to put this back into the chassis. Let's give it a good punch. Pretty instant. You can see the front tires expanding quite a bit. And all that expansion is power of being not put to the ground on the back axle. And that's because, you know, that center diff is just letting so much of it go to the front. So let's go ahead and try that again, only in slow-mo. Well, let's see what those earplugs have got. Uh. 
It's definitely coming up, but now I'm just having back tires not getting enough traction. You notice the front tires are not expanding. Oh, there we go. There we go. One thing for sure, it certainly got power to raise it up. I mean, even the stock motor, you know, the stock motor does fine. I, I see a lot of videos of guys uh, put up a uh, 23, 24 tooth pinion on the stock motor and it rides up just fine. So that's a cool thing. I do like the bigger motor, partly because, well, it seemed to run a little cooler and you can run longer without having to worry about overheating. Even though the stock motor has that nice cooling fan. Yeah, it's just putting everything to the front. <laughs> I wonder if with more power or more, I wonder if with a thicker set of this, if it'll actually get more power to the back and get faster. Let's go and get a speed run before I kill these batteries. All right, we're going to get that speed. We're already at 2.8 miles per hour. Woohoo! I mean, it may, with it, uh, with it not transferring so much to the front, it may actually get a little bit faster. Pretty sure that's about as topped out as you're going to get. Oh, did I lose my GPS down here? No, I didn't. I thought I lost it. All right, yeah, my battery's a little low. Gotcha. 47.6. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another run. Just to see. Just to confirm that, see if I can get anything more out of it. Yep, 47.6 is it. It definitely uh, doesn't expand the front. Keeps the tires pretty much at the same speed. However, notice what it's doing. That was cool. Sorry, I got some wind going here. What I'm talking about is, see that? It never did that when it had the uh, diff oil in the middle and actually you know, went to the front. I mean, this is more fun, obviously. But when it comes to racing, you actually want that front end to, you know, overdrive that back a little bit because it helps keep you straight. Got me. Now it's time for that speed run, which should be about the same time frame as I ran it before. You know, so it should be right about there. Registering about 3.3. Let's see what we got here. See if it does get a little bit faster. Looks good. I don't want to flip it over with my GPS hanging on the back. Let's see what we have got. 47.4. Right. Let's try some general turning. 
because that center diff being, you know, with those earplugs may actually make that back end spin out a little more versus just pushing crazy. I'm holding it full lock to the right. I'm hoping it would rip out a donut, but maybe it will with the... Ah, I got a little slide there. And over we go. That's rare with this truck. Let's see if it made a difference with the turn. <laughs> wow that's one thing about this truck it pushes something fierce maybe with some better tires it might have hooked a little better I'm just gonna rip around a little bit and see what we got Now it's doing all it can to get wheelies. It's just spinning the tires. I mean, if you look at them, these back tires, they are not giving up. There we go. It's just not hooking up to get the wheelies. Not any fault of the truck at this point. Let's give it a launch here. <laughs> yeah, it stopped the ballooning of the front tires completely. It's probably just about like driving with a spool in the center now. It might be giving up just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit, but not much. So guys, after driving this around with that center diff, open or normal in stock mode versus right now with the earplugs, I can tell you guys that the earplugs almost completely lock that center diff. So it's perfect for bashers. If you're a racer, well, that's ch that changes things up a little bit because you kind of want that center diff to work. It's a tuning option. Racers thicken or thin the oil because they want uh, overdrive on the front or they want that front to overspin the rear when taking off helps them stay straight when they hit the brakes just the opposite happen the back will slide the front will roll it can turn and actually pitch into the corner so it's a real nice tuning option for racers um, if your particular area has a place where you can race these well you may not want to put the uh, earplugs into that center diff. You may want to get into some 1 million or 2 million diff oils, which I've read don't really do a whole lot, but in a racing scene, uh, that can be quite a bit. This right here, I believe would actually hurt the handling in a race environment, just because it doesn't have the stability of being able to just punch the throttle knowing it's gonna go straight. You know, here it's going to spin that back in. Are you going to get a better launch? Of course. But if that back end is spinning, it could spin out. And you know, now you're fighting the truck trying to keep it straight. As we were before, it just naturally stayed straight. So as far as the steering goes, it was uh, pretty much the same. Still pushing real bad. And that's probably because of the tires. As far as the wheelies go, the truck was given all it had. It just didn't really have the traction. But when it did get the traction, well, you guys saw how that worked out. Top speed. Looks like it went down 0.2 miles per hour. Eh, could have been grass. I might not have hit the right line. But 
So overall speed didn't change in my opinion. I mean, 0.2, that's nothing, right? I just need that 40 tooth pinion gear. Jeez, come on, Sean Larman, the Jacks RC Recycle and Repair. So as far as jumping goes, when you're in the air, it doesn't matter what your differentials have in them. The mass of the tires and how fast you can spin them or break them is what controls the pitch in the air. Now, having a center diff like this almost locked up could give you more of a launch off to get into backflips. That it absolutely can do. But overall, um, using the earplugs and virtually locking that center diff up, that's perfect for bashers. Not so much for racers. Guys, check that description for links to the earplugs. I'm going to look up some other stuff that I can find for it as well. Also, the castle system. 800 kV censored with the uh, Mamba X8 S ESC. Had to get all that out there. So, guys, check that description. They are affiliate links. Affiliate links are where you click that link, you go and you check out whatever's in your car, cart, or you buy whatever the link is to, and it counts as a little, as a little bit of a commission. So, guys, hopefully, you like the video, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.